guys let's start to design this one simple part in ktl software so here is the 3d model of this part and in photo you can see a 2d sketch of this part so let's start to design this part in our KTL software for this let's start to open first of all our KTL software and go to start mechanical design part design and give water and we want to and we are not using this plane so hide this all x y y z and z x plane and make sure you are in a geometrical shape work object and call one point here and this point should be at the origin point so the point of is a call a coordinate so so to make this point as origin we are giving x value y value and z value 0 and press ok now go to insert select x assisty from this specification tree select this our origin point now our x system is generated now let's start to design this model of what we call activities activities of vacuum cleaner vacuum cleaner part so first of all we will design this part as it is that in front we can take so let's start to do first of all case position and select the jetted plane origin is spine point orientation is parallel to this line make reverse this orientation now here you can see there are two lines from this to this so let's start reading the these two lines so one line is in turn somewhat like this and other is in turn like this now check the total angle between these two lines is 140 so go to constraint from this to this it is 140 and from bottom from horizontal axis to this line is 26 now this to this is 26 and now we have to do the length of this lines so 68.5 and 60.5 this is 60.5 this is 68.5 Now our this part is done. <coughs> so make sure your sketch is fully constant. Yes, it is also constant. So exit your two D sketch for pinch. Make sure you are in part body object. And now we have to create one plane here. For creating this plane, um, we will make a point one here. So go to sketch positions and select the jet wire plane. Put it in as Projector point parallel to this line. Now you have to draw one point anywhere here, which is actually coincide with this horizontal axis. Now come back to this or main workbench. Now we have to create one plane here for creating this plane. Just you have to select this plane comma and make sure you select the here points two three points. You select first point as this, second as this, and third as this. Now you can see the perfect plane is created along this line. So press OK. Now select this plane, go to sketch positioning, 
origin and i mean this point orientation actually we want somewhat like this come reverse so make reverse step horizontal outcome first now we have to draw in 2d sketch simple sketch of this part so let's start to design first of all rough sketch we are creating so go to line let me hold it into line here and actually this part is somewhat like this this so check bottom length of this is 32 the value here as a 132 make sure this line is symmetric to this vertical axis This is okay. We want the same line on other side also. So select this one line, go to mirror color, select vertical axis. And from this to this, the angle is given, which is 55. And from this point to this point, it is 66. And from this to this, make sure you have selected activities from some point. This point now it comes perfect. Well, of this is 66. And you can see as over this part is 68.5. So the height should be coming, height should be taken from our surrounding so we can take 65. Now this value we want to know actually it is three angle. So creating this angle, we have to draw an axis here, vertical axis, which is coincident to this line. Now we have a value to this line. Value of this is three. Same we want on other side. If you just check this value is also 3 or not. So I think this is also 3. You can see it is 3. And just delete this extra axis we have created. Now our sketch is fully functional, we can see on green line here. Now exit the 2D sketch for it. Go to pad comma here. First of all select length as 14. Because now we can see the length of this is 28. So we are making mirror question to this. 40 and make mirror question so it comes 14 and I will continue to this. But actually, we don't want this is normal to this line. So go to more here and uncheck this normal to profile. And for reference purpose, select XY plane from this specification T. Actually, we have had this exactly. So we will consider it from this specification tree. Now our 
stretches from exactly perpendicular to this x y plane. Now you can see the Next part is to design a circle here. So for designing this circle, you can see here the circle is here having diameter 30 feet. So to design this circle at this point, go to plane, select plane type as normal to curve. First of all, you have to fill up this curve. The point is this. Press OK. Now select this plane. Go to sketch positioning as usual our origin is this point and it will be parallel to this make sure it is reverse yes. now create one circle here which is exactly coincident at this point having a dia 32 make sure this circle is fully constrained for body now it is fully constrained now exit to work pinch to the sketch work pinch and select a drafted pad here which is to fly out to this single pad command so so the name of this command is drafted filleted pad select this drafted filleted pad and make sure this length is zero and the second limit second limit we are giving again as this x y plane so after this it will be done make sure and and the draft angle you can see here it is 2 degree so change here draft angle is 2 make sure to uncheck this all fillet letter the radius first limit radius second limit radius make sure to reverse this draft so uncheck this all fillet which is letter radius first first limit radius second limit radius so uncheck this all fillet and radius and now you can take a preview of this now it is perfect this one which is also drafted from this to this now we are giving ok so you can see the extra material is coming on so to remove this extra material just go select pocket command first and delete this bottom page the water angle is coming like we have selected the surface here is the profile you must specify the dimension of x and the lane to the limit yes and now select again here and sketch select this page again make sure to reverse this draw one rectangle like this just exit to work page now you can see the material remaining is on other side so we want to reverse direction so to make was now you can see the removal of material of this extra part you can see now press ok so finally you can see removal of this extra material by using simple pocket cover now we have to do some fillets here so you can check what the value of fillet so here the fillet value is 12 and it is just 3 times means this fillet also go to here fillet edge fillet comma select this part this part so we have fillet so we have select this all part go to here and remove this 
precisely select this line this edge one value of this is 12 and you can see this part is smoothly again some fillets are here also let's check the value of this fillet so the value of this fillet is r3 means radius 3 3mm and actually these are 15 times so 15 times we have to do so go to h fillet select this h fillet and make sure your value comes as 3 select this part or okay one two three four five six seven eight and this mark ten eleven And here also we have to do 12, 30, 6, 4, 10, 50. Now select OK. Now you can see this part is created. Only one final command is remaining to shell this means we have to create poly. So for making this shell First of all, we will check what is value of this is. Same the thickness of this part is 2. So go to shell command here. And select this face and this face. So it is starting and actually it is ending. And the value of default inside thickness is 2. Press OK. Now you can see our vacuum cleaner is ready actually we can do perfectly vacuum cleaner like this we can see here also in period and our actual model of this part 3d model of this part get this